heavy traffic all weekend long. News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott joins us now. Jim, at 5, you showed us how to navigate the traffic if you're coming from downtown, but now you're showing us a different route? That's right. We're coming. A lot of people will be coming from the south side and even the Arlington area may be coming over the Hart Bridge. That's going to be a concern there. What they're telling me and what you're going to look at, like if you're using your map or the GPS on there, forget it. Just put it away because roads down here are going to be different. Some are going to be one way. Some are going to be the other way. That's just not the same. And a lot has changed since the expressway, since they rebuilt the Hart Expressway. They tore it down and now have reopened parts of it. And it's just making a mess of everything everything. Here's why. So what I'm doing, I'm going to enter the stadium now coming in off the Hart Expressway. I understand that some changes have been made to the ramp up here. And I don't know what those changes are. So like a lot of people, I'm going to find out firsthand. You see here, we're entering the area of the stadium that says in this lane, I can get to the stadium. The other lane is downtown. So we're going to take the stadium exit and see what changes here and to see if any new ramps have reopened. That's my understanding that as of Thursday, they did a few things a little bit differently. Okay, there are cones all up here and I'm not exactly sure. So I'm taking the downtown exit because I'm told this is where it changed. And if you look, there's people working. It doesn't look very safe to be driving here. So this is gonna take us by the stadium and this is where people are gonna probably end up having some traffic pattern problems. There's gonna be police officers here directing traffic but I'm gonna go forward and we're gonna see what takes place up here. Again, I'm right in front of the stadium and if we look forward up here, you can see they're doing some work. I'm told that one of these ramps is actually gonna be open that we're gonna be able to take. We're gonna find out because if it is, this is the first and these are some of the changes that they've been making up here. But yeah, right up here where it says Adams Street and Duval Street, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, this is new and it's supposed to get us through this area. But again, there's gonna be a lot of congestion here and a lot of people could be confused by all of this. So it takes us back actually to the old expressway, the part they did tear down. So I could take Duval Street or Adams Street here to get to the downtown area. So that's one of the things that have changed. So you just need to be aware that traffic patterns downtown are totally different. And if you want to say the heck with driving down here and you're going to come down a different way by boat, well, the weather authority is telling us that may not be the best thing this weekend. Waters are going to be very choppy. We also understand that most of the boating docks have been sold out for some time. So you want to think again about that. The yeah, boat may be nice, but a lot of the fans down here, of course, are in the RVs. We're seeing a whole bunch of those ATVs and golf carts all going through this area, and they're just out here to have a good time. By the way, parking tonight, there is some available on the other side of the stadium near the arena for the concert tonight. You can do that, but tomorrow, forget it. All of the parking there is sold out. For now, we're live near the stadium at RV City. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.